Hi, my name's Emma, a second year medical student, and it's that time of year, isn't it? So if you found this video, then I assume you have a medical student, nursing student, or healthcare student in your life, and you don't know what to get them for Christmas, and the countdown is on. Well, I'm hoping that this video can help. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So I've made quite an extensive list that can hopefully help you out, but I have divided it into sections and it'll all be timestamped below, so feel free to jump ahead. There's practical things, self-care things, things that will help them out in life, in study, all that jazz, but skip to what will be relevant for you, definitely. Every category has sort of different options from a lower price range to a more big ticket kind of item. Um, so there's a little bit of something for everybody in the video. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. Obviously there's other gift giving, holidays, birthdays, etc. But this can just be sort of a list of things that you could think to buy for your med student or your healthcare student just to help them out a little bit. So the first section is probably going to touch on the biggest part of a med student's life and that is study. So this is study tools, study supplies, things that will help them get through med school. So if your student is in the earlier years of med school, they're probably doing more sort of traditional learning, more so from a lecture. So they will be helped by just sort of more traditional study tools and study things, such as stationery. I think this one goes without saying, it can be helpful to anybody. Some of us like more colorful notes, rainbow highlighters and pencils and pens than others, but having just a nice notebook or a nice set of pens to work with or to make your setup look really, really nice can just make your day a little bit better and a little bit easier. Ask your med student what their favorite tools are or you can get some of the examples down below um, that are some sort of cult favorites uh, and you can't really go wrong. And one thing, don't underestimate the whiteboard marker. Fantastic study technique if your med student is studying using them, um, or big ticket item, a whole whiteboard. <laughs> I love studying with my whiteboard, and I tell any med student to use one if they can, or use them in the library, use them where their study spaces are. So getting more whiteboard markers would actually be amazing. If your med student is a bit techy, they may be using something called Anki cards, or you may see them doing flashcards on their computer. If so, you can get them a little remote, which is actually really fun to use and makes Anki feel a bit more like a game um, if they know how to set it up, and I'll link some videos below on how to set that up. Again, another option for a more techy med student is a laptop stand or a laptop prop. So I have a Moft laptop prop or stand, which lets me put my laptop at a different angle just to be a little bit more ergonomic and try not to get laptop necked um, while I'm studying wherever I'm studying, but a laptop stand for a desk at home that can turn it from a sitting to a standing desk can really help your med student on those long study days and it's something that they probably wouldn't think to buy for themselves. The next option is definitely a bit school specific, so you may have to ruin a surprise and ask your med student, and that's textbooks. Textbooks are expensive, but they are necessary, and being given them sometimes, you know, takes a load off. So you can either ask your med student what textbooks they specifically need, or you can go, instead of ruining the surprise, you can ask, um, get them some of these sort of generalized textbooks that all schools kind of use. I personally love the Oxford Clinical Handbooks. I have the Oxford, which one do I have? I have the Handbook of Clinical Medicine and I have my eye on the examination one. Um, other books include ECGs Made Easy, fantastic resource for every med student, OSCE Cases with Mark Schemes. For any Canadians watching, there's the Toronto Notes, um, and for anybody interested in taking the USMLE, there's always the First Aid books as a good option. And again, expensive things, things we need, but it helps when someone gets it for us. Hi everyone, Editing Emma here, and I can't believe I forgot to include this. A really, really nice scholastic kind of gift is flashcards. So I have the Netter's Anatomy flashcards, and they're pretty great because they're kind of like drawings or little cartoons almost with information of the muscles, the bud supply, everything like that. Super, super helpful. You can also get the Rowan's anatomy cards, and these are great because they're actually on specimens. So having both is really nice and really helps you in the anatomy lab um, and just anatomy study in general. They come with a little ring, or you can give them some smaller rings um, so they can divide them up if they want. But yeah, definitely a must-have for any med student and a great Christmas gift. 
Finally, the more big ticket study item that can be given as a gift is a subscription to a supplemental learning resource such as AMBOSS or Sketchy Med or Osmosis Med. These all include different types of learning and teaching styles such as videos or text, um, practice questions which can be really helpful and can just help supplement any of the lecture learning. But usually you have to purchase a year-long subscription so it's a bit more of a big ticket item. Now, if your med student is later in their med career, um, in their final two years, they'll be more of a clinical student, so they'll need things that are a bit more specific to them. Um, I always say a really nice notebook can go a far way. I personally am very picky and like mine to be B5 and hardback but fully opening, so I have a full page to work on anytime I talk to a new patient. Um, but your med student may not be as picky. There's pocket size, moleskins are good options. Um, soft cover, hard cover, all sorts of different colors, but a really nice notebook that they can take with them when they go into the hospital to talk to patients it can be a really nice sort of sentimental gift. And to go with that, pens. A nice pen that writes really easily is just the dream of every med student while they're trying to talk to patients and get that patient history down. So giving them some nice pens can actually be a nice little stocking stuffer or supplement to go with your notebook and make a complete set. One thing if you're going to give them a nice pen, also give them some dummy pens because invariably every med student will lose their pens to the clinicians and the consultants and the doctors above them. So I personally have been told, you know, bring your pen, but bring a few basic Bic pens as well um, to give to people when they ask invariably for a pen. So fun little joke kind of gift to let them know that you're in on the lingo is give them a nicer pen for them and some silly cheap pens for everybody else. Another option is a stethoscope case. These are definitely not a necessity but they definitely do help make sure that your expensive piece of equipment doesn't get ruined in your backpack or on the bus. There's lots of different options. You may want to check and make sure you know what kind of stethoscope your med student has so you know that the case is going to fit but most general cases will fit most stethoscopes, especially the stethoscopes that most students have. Um, you can get them in bright colors or simple, flat, long, short, all sorts of different things which will work for different med students and their needs. I personally have two because I'm a bit spoiled um, and it's nice to have the option depending on what bag I'm using that day. And if your student has a lot of personality and they like to show it, some really great fun options are fun lanyards, badge reels, clips um, for their uh, lapel pins for their white coat or their badge reel or their lanyard um, as well as you can even get stethoscope charms which is really really cute for me since my steth looks like the majority of my classmates it's nice to have a little charm on it so I know which one's mine if we're all practicing in the clinical rooms together and that just lets me show a little bit of my personality to the patients before I meet them. Now the next two are definitely school specific so make sure you check with your med student um, and they're actually quite med student or personal as well but you could always, big ticket item, give them a stethoscope. This can be a really personal gift um, and a really welcoming gift to honor your student who maybe have just gotten into med school or they're just about to graduate and they need their own new sort of grown up steth. Um, it's something we use every day and it can mean a lot to some students. Obviously you need to know what kind they would like um, and they're very customizable, especially the Littmans. So you may want to ask what kind of colors and what kind of requirements they have for their stuff. But it can really mean a lot and they can be quite expensive so it can help sort of relieve something from the med student. Along the same lines is a white coat. So some med students get given a white coat by their school and that's really great um, and they may not be allowed to wear any other white coat in the hospital. So double check before you get them anything. Secondly, if you are buying it for a student as a student, make sure you get the short coat, not the long coat. They won't be able to wear it. Or you could choose to purchase a long white coat for your med student if you know they're in their final year and they're going to be graduating and they're going to be a full-blown doctor soon and be able to wear the long coat. But you should check with the school or the student to see what they actually need, what they're allowed, and what will actually help them. Now, if you're more the gift giver that doesn't want to give practical things but wants to give things that will just help the student take care of themselves or help them relax, then this section is for you. So this is all sorts of ideas for self-care and taking care of a med student.
The great thing about this category is it's not really different than any sort of self-care that you would give anybody. Um, so things like bath bombs, lotions, spa, spa gift cards, they're all really, really nice. Bonus points if it's any sort of anti-stress scent, so like lavender, rose, all those lovely things because they will need that later in the year. Something I always say is a fun gift to any kind of student is cozy socks for studying. So personally, whenever I went to the library for a really long day, I would bring a pair of fluffy, almost slipper-like socks so that when I was curled up in my desk, I could take off my boot and put on a warm sock and just be a bit more comfortable when I was sitting in the library all day, every day. <laughs> so some nice cozy socks for studying can kind of help get you in a bit of a cozier mood, a bit of a nicer mood when you have to sit at a desk for a really long time. Books for fun. <laughs> we need to read for fun. I think med school kind of ruins the joy of reading and that's really quite unfortunate. So ask your med student if they have a Goodreads account. You can see what sort of books they're looking for um, or pick out some books that you think they may really enjoy. Um, big ticket option is a Kindle. So my parents gave me a Kindle for my birthday and it has really allowed me to read more for fun and that has been amazing because now I can read on the bus, I can read walking home in the rain because it's waterproof. It's definitely expensive so it's a bit of an investment um, but I really cherish mine and I'm really glad I have it because it means that I get to read a lot more and take breaks reading for fun. If they aren't a reader, I do bet that they are a binger, so you can always get them a Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime video, any sort of subscription, Crunchyroll, to kind of give them the ability to relax between classes, between studying, um, if they aren't already mooching off of your Netflix subscription. <laughs> And another great option for when it's safe to do so is the gift cards to movies or gift cards to restaurants, things that maybe you wouldn't think to treat yourself with sort of on an average day, but if you have a gift card for it, you'll go do it. And that can be a really great way to remind the student to go have some fun. I also forgot to mention that an anatomy coloring book can actually be kind of a fun mindfulness exercise, but the student feels like they're still studying, so it kind of tricks them into relaxing. Um, they're not too detailed and they don't give very high level of information, um, but they're good fun and they actually do reinforce some things, so definitely recommend. Sorry, lighting change. <laughs> The next section is definitely more practical based, so this is more everyday life sort of things, but can actually come really in handy for any sort of student, not even specifically a med student. And that's sort of gifts for life, gifts for taking care of business. This category is really great, especially if you don't live near your student and they're not able to come home for Christmas. Gift cards. Gift cards to the local grocery store, gift cards for Uber Eats or other delivery services, gift cards for rideshare services. It can really relieve some of the stress on the student um, when they have to pay those kinds of bills or buy those kinds of things. I always like to say, because I live far away from my family, if you give me a gift card to a grocery store, I can spend the grocery money on going out with my friends instead. So it is a way of relieving stress in one category so that they can still go have fun in another. Coffee. That's it. That's the gift. Done. <laughs> that could be giving them coffee, giving them a gift card to a local coffee shop that you know they love, um, coffee mugs, travel mugs. They will need it. They will drink it. Coffee is always a wanted gift. Finally, and this is something I ended up accidentally giving myself, is extra chargers. It's been really nice. I have a second laptop charger, so one's always in my bag and one is always at my desk and it means that when I come home I don't have to go rummaging under my desk to charge my laptop um, and it just helps my study flow seem much more easy, much more flow-like um, and having extra cell phone chargers etc in my backpack means I'm kind of always ready to go um, and that's pretty specific to me but it's pretty helpful and some of these laptop chargers can kind of run you up a few dollars so as a student getting given one can be really nice. Okay, and last but not least, this section is specific for international students or if you have a student who's living away from home. A great gift to give them is just something that reminds them of home. So whether that's a calendar with pictures from home, which my parents have given me, a sweater with the city name on it, a mug, anything that is sort of 
you know, those tourist things that we laugh about, um, they can really mean a lot when you're actually away from home. I love wearing my hometown sweater around and people ask me, oh, where's that? And then I get a little bit of time to reminisce. Um, or I have a Tim Hortons travel mug, which just makes me feel like the coffee tastes so much better when it's made in this mug. And being able to give your student a little piece of home to keep with them can be really touching when we're really stressed and we really need a little slice of home with us. So that's it, that's my list. I hope it has helped give you some ideas for what to get a med student for Christmas or really any kind of student. Um, and yeah, if you liked the video, let me know by giving it a like. Comment down below if you have any ideas. If you got this far in the video, comment a snowflake so that I know. I'm living in Australia, I don't get snow, so give me it down below. And as always, subscribe if you wanna see more of my journey to, my journey through medicine, including life, vlogs, advice, videos like this, and sort of anything that you recommend. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.